Hello guys, we're going to be starting a new set of quick tips. Each quick tip is going to be about uh, two to five minutes long. We're going to be talking about different subjects in the game that we think you guys should know. These are going to be on top of the daily upload. So you'll get gameplay and then a little later in the day, one of these will go up. This isn't going to come up every day. It's going to come up about two to three times per week. Today we're going to be talking about how you can help your team in operations. Operations are... A major part of Boom Beach, it, what, it's what connects you to your task force. If you are a lower level, it's going to be a lot harder for you in operations. But if you follow some tips I'm going to tell you guys, you're going to be able to own an operation. So for low level players, it could be very difficult in operations. You want to do damage, but your troops just aren't the level high enough to do damage. The first thing you have to realize is you can't go straight to the HQ. You have to try to take out a defensive building, focus on one defensive building. That it's gonna, if you could destroy that building, it's gonna help your team beat the operation. You don't want to use artillery or barrages to take it down. If you just attack, use artillery barrages to take it down, and then you retreat, that's gonna annoy your team a lot. And you might even get kicked. If you want to do the most damage and stay in your task force the longest, you have to try and you're going to lose all your troops. That's part of operations. You're going to lose your troops. So you just have to be okay with losing your troops. So another tip for you guys, if you have a three hour boost, you're going to do it at the end of that boost, maybe at two hours and when there's like 10 minutes left. That is unless you are going to be offline and long enough for your troops to retrain. So that goes for lower level players, but what about higher level players? What I mean by higher level players is you're one of the highest levels in your task force. So depending on your task force size, you'd be either top one, top two, top five, or top 10 or so, depending on your size. That goes from five to 50. Your goal is to clear the base after all your lower level teammates have cleared a path just for you to come in. So what you need to do is you need to scout the base at the beginning of the operation and tell the lower level players in your task force what you're planning on doing and telling them which defense they need to take out for, to help your path win. So if you are using, usually it's going to be shock launchers and rocket launchers are going to be the most threat to you. But if you're planning on using tanks, definitely tell them to take out the boom cannons around the base. Also, look at the range of the items. If you are planning on going on the left side, you don't need to take out defensive buildings all the way on your right side. This is a major problem in task forces. All the lower level players are trying to clear every single defense. Or they're just trying to go in and they're just trying to use heavy Zugo rush and just kind of move through the base. But in operations, you don't really want to do that at a very low level. You want to just flare and smoke to a defensive building that's going to help the higher level players with warriors. You don't want to use pretty much anything else. Now, if you don't have warrior, I mean smoke... You, you're going to be in a little bit of issue here. Then you might want to start thinking about using Ruka or Hookah. So, the which one do you use? If there are a lot of boom cannons, you're going to go with Ruka. If there are a lot of splash damage like rocket launchers, you're going to go with Hookah. So let's talk about mid-level players. Mid-level players are the biggest part of your task force, most likely. What you should do is you should use tanks, Hookah, to just try to clear the path. And so low level players, you're focusing on one defense, mid level players, you're focusing on the path and high level players, you're just going to be focusing on taking the HQ down. So that's actually the very simple way of thinking about it. So definitely try to use hookah, Ruka or tanks and try to clear off the path. What I don't recommend is taking a boat of warriors with any of those strategies. It's just pointless guys. I see a lot of people do it in task forces. It's just pointless. The main thing you have to think about is helping your team. You can't do it all by yourself. You need to destroy little buildings leading up to the HQ. If you have warriors, warriors are the best for low level players. If you have warriors with smoke, you just flare and smoke them to like a shock launcher. Now, every single operation base is different, so I can't tell you one defense to take down or one place to take down. Uh, you just need to analyze the base and follow the notes. Officers and leader, the leader, will write these notes out. And if you don't follow them, you might get kicked. If you disagree with the notes, definitely tell your leaders and tell them why. And try to convince them to try a different path. So that's it for this quick tip video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always always if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye